Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to continue showing you how to create a cylindrical decontamination tank in Revit. This is going to be part two. Part two focuses on creating the manhole. You're going to have one manhole for sensing and another one for the motorized valve. And I remind you that if you just want to download the family, you can scan the QR code you see on screen and it takes you right there so you can download it. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. So now we have the main cylinder created. Let's focus on the slim one, right? And then what you want to do is, remember, we have these two manholes here, this one, and this one. So let's just eyeball it here. I'm gonna say that the first manhole is gonna be, let's say, one sixth of the length. Let's say it's like around here, right? So what we do is we click in here, we do create similar, and we have a reference plane right here. We're eyeballing here. I'm gonna give it a name. So this one's gonna be the monitoring manhole. So let's call it monitor manhole. And then we want to dimension from here to here. And then this parameter here, we want to define a parameter because that's going to change depending on the size of the tank. So we want to define a parameter. So let's call this monitor off offset. It's a type parameter. And let's group all of those under plumbing. And then what we can do is we, we can create a formula so that this distance is always one sixth of the total length, for example. So what we do is we come here and then that monitor offset, we take this parameter, we copy the text so that we avoid any typos or anything like that. And then we can have one sixth times that parameter. And let's see. There you go. So one six of 10 feet, nine inches is this distance here. So it's working like a charm. I just click OK. And here we go. And now we also have the the we also have the motorized valve. Remember, we have this valve, the manhole right here. So let's create that one. That plane, we can say it's also one six of the length. So let's just create similar. We place it here somewhere. And then we dimension from here to here. And we want this to be a different parameter from this one, just in case, even though they're both going to be one sixth of the length. But let's just create a new parameter. And let's call this the valve offset. And that's going to be grouped also under plumbing. Let's hit OK. And now we can define a formula here. And we can copy this value. And for now, it's the same. If we have to change it later, then we will. For now, let's just keep it the same. And it's consistent. Let's click OK. So those are our two planes. And now we need to define extrusions that are going to go vertically up. OK, so for that, we come here to create. And it may be a good idea to define a top plane. See, because these two extrusions are starting here and going up, starting here and going up. I mean, in this case, the extrusion, the actual tank extrusion is a little bit shorter than the manhole, but it doesn't really matter. We're just eyeballing it here. We're just claiming space. We don't want to get too fancy. So let's go ahead and define a plane called the top plane. So let's go to the front view and we can see that here we don't have a reference plane. So let's create one. Notice that if I click on here, what we're selecting is our reference level, right? And that's not what we want to copy. What we want to copy is what's behind that little green dash line, which is the reference plane, this one. So we click there. I did tab select. We create similar. All right. And now I'm, uh, I'm going to just eyeball it like around here for now. I'm going to call this the top plane. But then what we want to do is we're going to have a dimension here from our center reference plane to the top plane. And we're going to make that equal to the diameter, actually, to the diameter divided by 2. So let's make this a formula. So let's create a new parameter. That's going to be the radius 
always the radius of the cylinder and uh, it's going to be grouped under plumbing just like the others and then we can come here and to that radius parameter we can assign a formula which is going to be the diameter divided by 2 so here it is diameter divided by 2 and there we go so now whenever we change the type let's say we go instead of with the slim we go with the wide one and click OK everything will change and nothing will break right so now that's good we have this plane defined so we can go to our reference level and now define our two extrusions for the manholes and you can clearly see here that this diameter is smaller than the manhole diameter but again we want to do just a simple family to claim the space and be able to specify it if you want something more detailed then you could go to the manufacturer's website and download it or like to bimobject.com or something like that so let's go ahead and do that we come here to create we want to create an extrusion now which plane do we want to create that on let's see let's go to set plane we see that right now we're in the reference level that's not where we want to start we want to start at the top plane which is the one we just defined let's click OK and now what do we want to do we want to do a circle right and where do you want to place it at the intersection of those two planes right you give it whichever uh, dimension you want for now actually I always like to take it out of walk a little bit and then make sure I click on my circle and then check the center mark visible and then align AL to this plane and lock it and then to this plane and lock it and that way I'm sure that this will not break and it will flex properly we want to define a certain distance here so let's dimension this so let's make it two feet let's just leave it like that for now and then the extrusion length I would make it probably two feet as well you want at least two feet underground this is probably the same distance this way and this way the same as this distance this and this and now let's click OK and let's go to a 3D view to see what's happening and that's pretty decent you may want to give a little bit more so let's go back to our reference level here and let's make this monitor offset a little bit more so what we can do is we come here and then instead of being one sixth of the length let's make it one fifth of the length and let's copy it just to make sure that we have it in all the types in case this doesn't change that looks a little better right one fifth so let's keep one fifth let's go to the 1000 gallon one fifth that's good so that's so that gets recorded for every type regardless of which type it is because it is a formula okay so we're looking good here and then let's create a similar extrusion right here so we just come here to create extrusion what do we want we want a circle where do we want it we want it here but again I do it wherever I want and whichever size I want I just click there and make sure I I click on center mark visible and then I can align in this plane and lock it and then in this plane and lock it and now we want to dimension this we said that this was going to be two feet right so two feet and then I think I'm going to end up making this distance also one-fifth so uh, but let's just finish the extrusion first and then I take the valve offset and I'm going to give it one-fifth as well so I'm going to copy this over and just paste it here and hit OK and that's looking pretty decent let's go to the 3D view and yeah that's exactly what we want 